Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you enjoy this video till the very end. As I went to the diary isn't very detailed, at least it's not enough for someone to imagine what was happening, but during certain moments, there is a faint sense of familiarity. When I got up this morning, I felt like I was in an illusion. Pulling back the curtains and seeing all the high-rise buildings made me feel as though I had fallen asleep and woke naturally, the way I did when I was on vacation. This rest stop is way too deceiving. I'd rather be thrown into the wilderness. At least then I wouldn't be confused and spend the whole morning feeling down. Apparently, there's more than one rest stop. We got lucky and ended up at the one that resembled a bustling city. Mr. Lee even found a game room near where we were staying. An actual game room with mahjong and poker. I find this absurd. Even as I'm writing it down. In a world where exams can kill people, there's something as mundane as a game room at the rest stop. Mr. Lee and the others put together a mahjong group. They're quite optimistic. There's an internet cafe next door, but I remained calm. I didn't know how to play, nor was I interested, so I just left. When I went down around 4 or 5 in the afternoon, they were still playing. They didn't even eat lunch. It was as if they were entranced. It's scary thinking about it, but I also understood how they felt. I was feeling frustrated after reading, so I wandered around, filming with my phone. Being able to use my phone at the rest stop is my only source of comfort. However, I'm unable to connect to the normal world's internet. Damn it. When I finish the exams and return to the real world, will these videos become pixelated? After all, I took some of the examiner. Across the street from the market, Brother Chin was with examiner A. When my camera passed over them, I was startled. How should I put this? Anyhow, when I see those two, I feel like knives are going to be swishing around. There's no hope left for my Chinese. What am I going to do when I get tested on it? Brother Chin was smiling, but I'm not sure how to describe it. The two of them appear to be quite hostile towards each other. Examiner A left after a few seconds. Thankfully, he didn't see me recording. Otherwise, he would have turned around and given me some rule violation. Brother Chin said his punishment was over. Examiner A sent him back to the rest stop in accordance with the regulations. Allegedly, Examiner A drove him back. Allegedly, he was not willing and took several detours into the wilderness. Though there are a lot of places like that in this shitty place. I think the examiner wanted to kill him. At night, I went to the market with Brother Chin. I only bought a folding fruit knife, though he filled a small suitcase. I have a feeling we're not even living in the same world. I'm here to take the exams while he feels like he's here on a vacation. How can there be such a huge difference between two people? Having been interrupted by these matters, my mood isn't as bad as it was before. I'm not sure if I'll be in the same group as Brother Chin in the next exam. Regardless, I hope I become a little stronger, after all. I'm someone who's gone through it once, even if I lack some practical experience. Recently, my diary entries have become much longer. It might be because I've been idle on these days, so I have more time to think. We got together and discussed it for a long time, but we still don't know who made the system, or what their purpose is. Why were we dragged here? 
Mr. Lee says there's no point in worrying about this right now, and that we'd better focus on how to survive. But I still want to figure it out. If I don't know what I'm doing, then am I really living? It's currently midnight. We are another day closer to the next exam. I hope we all have a good luck, living good lives, and figuring out what's going on. Good night. It's quite weird. I've got no recollection of the time, place, or car. Yet that window is abnormally distinct. What was I feeling at the time? Amused? Quarrelsome? Provocative? I think I had a dream. Though I can't remember what it was about. It's so dark. Not the kind of darkness you get when turning the lights off, but the kind of darkness that you would experience if you were blind. Just like back in that hospital. I enjoyed my eyes in the past. When I was recovering at the hospital, I lived in this kind of darkness for almost a year. For a person who was both blind and suffering from memory loss, that year was quite long for me. Back then, I would fall silent for long periods of time to retain from asking any stupid questions. I'd spend my time in a drowsy haze or asleep to avoid having to blindly fumble around. It felt so vulnerable. I didn't like it. As time passed, it became a habit. The doctor said, You're a little emotionally deficient. You don't express many emotions, nor do you possess much curiosity or doubt. I didn't take it to heart. I just hadn't met the right people. If you'd surrounded me with examiners, I definitely wouldn't have been feeling emotionally deficient. Examiners like 001. One of them would have been plenty. But it's strange. When I was put in solitary during the last exam, the room remained the same. Nothing had changed. Why did I suddenly become blind after waking up? The thing I'm scared of most in this life. What kind of dumb algorithm did this confinement room even use to think that I was afraid of blindness? If I were truly afraid of being blind, why didn't the previous confinement room change? 